So now I'm going to show two things unrelated to this, okay, but that you've asked about in Piazza. Um, one is, notice that when we run this, let's uh, run again, watch what happens. When we run, we get an empty image view controller, which is really doesn't make any sense. What we'd really want it to come, when we first run and this is empty, we want it to come up showing this view controller. So this is like with your calculator, you don't want it to come up showing an empty graph, you want it to come up showing the calculator. Because the empty graph is useless, it just forces them to do that back thing right here for no good reason. Okay? So how do we do that? Okay, this is another case where we need to use delegation. In this case, it's the split views delegate. Okay, split view controller delegate. So what does this code look like? Well, I'm going to put this in Cassini uh, view controller right here. The first thing I need to do is I need to make the Cassini view controller be my, its own split views delegate. In other words, it needs to be the delegate of the split view it's in. So I'm going to do this in view did load. Okay, sometimes view did load is not quite early enough <laughs> to do things for split views. You might have to do it in a wake from nib even. Uh, but this will work in view did load. And I'm just going to set my split view controllers. Remember, every MVC knows the split view controller it's in, or the navigation controller it's in, or the tab bar controller it's in. So split view controller says what it is. Might be nil, okay? But if it's not, I'm going to set its delegate to be myself. Of course, as soon as I do this, I'm going to get an error because I didn't say that I was a UI split view controller delegate. So I need to go up here and say that I'm a UI split view controller delegate. All right, so that satisfies that error. All is good. Now, which split view controller method am I going to implement? Okay, hold on to your chairs for this one. Okay, by the way, again, I'm a split view controller dele delegate, so I can just start typing split view, and you can see it shows me all of the split view controller delegate methods. And there's quite a few, okay, about a dozen of them. And the one I want is the one that controls the collapsing of the detail on top of the master. Because I don't want it to collapse that detail on top of the master if the detail is empty. Okay, if it doesn't have an image in there, I don't want it to do that. So this thing that controls that, it's called uh, collapse secondary view controller onto primary view controller. Okay? Split view controller, collapse secondary view controller onto primary view controller. Now, notice it returns a bool. This bool, you return true if you took care of this. You return false if you want the system to do the collapse. Okay? So this is a way where the delegate can do this collapse if it wants or not, and it just lets the split view know whether it did it or not. So that's what the bool is, to let it know when it did it. So this is actually quite simple right here. Um, we just want to get the image view controller. Okay? Uh, well, first of all, let's make sure that the primary uh, view controller, content view controller, is ourself. Okay, now it should be because we're setting ourselves as our own split view delegate. So we should be the primary view controllers, the masters content. Okay, so we should be that. It should not be a problem. Um, but now I'm going to say on top of that, if I can let IVC equal the secondary view controllers, that's the detail, its content view controller as an image view controller. Okay, so if I have an image view controller as my detail, uh, and where, everyone know about where, right? You did your reading assignments. You know about where. Where is an additional clause that you can add onto an if, okay? So I'm going to say where the image view controller's image URL is nil. So if I have an image view controller as my detail and its uh, image URL is nil, then there's, it's empty. There's nothing in there. There's no Saturn or anything else. So in this case, I'm going to return true which is me telling the system, oh yeah, I took care of that. Okay? I put that detail, I collapsed that detail on top of the master, don't worry about it. Now I didn't, didn't actually do anything, that's good because that's what I want. I don't want that detail to be collapsed on top of the master if the thing is nil. Right? So I just kind of lied to the system and told him I handled it when in fact I didn't. Okay? Otherwise, we're just going to let the system do whatever it does. Okay? Return false, we did not handle this, so you handle it. Okay, so let's see if that works. Okay, so here it is. Look at that. Came up, didn't show me a blank thing. So it worked. Now let's click on one of these. Boop. 
Okay, it worked. So it collapsed the secondary on top of the primary when I wanted it to, okay? But if it came up nil, then it didn't show it. Everyone understand that? I know it seems a, a lot of long words in here, like primary view controller, secondary view controller, but this is just master and detail. That's all this is. And we're just checking where the image viewer is nil. I'm just returning that we handled it when we didn't really handle it because we don't want it handled. Okay, one other thing I want to show you is reusing the detail in iPad. Right. We look at iPad. And we have the master detail right here. Every time we click on this thing, it's creating a new MVC here. Okay, creating a brand new MVC. And it, there's really no reason for that. Okay, we could absolutely just reuse this MVC right here. Okay. We don't have to create a new one every time. So how would we do that? How would we reuse this? Well, if we're going to reuse this, we can't use segways because segways always create a new MVC. That's what segways do. They create a new MVC. So we can't use segways, okay, to do that in that case. So let's go back to our Cassini right here, our storyboard, and we're not going to use these segways over here. Okay, see these three segways? I'm going to get rid of them. Get rid of, oops, not that. Click here, get rid of that one, I'm gonna rid of that one, I'm gonna rid of that one. Because I cannot segue from these buttons or it will constantly create a new one uh, of these details. Instead, what I'm gonna do is use target action. So I'm just gonna bring up my code here, uh, some space, all right? And I'm gonna do a target action message from each of these that reuses the detail to show the image. So let's do that, let's just go control drag here. I'm going to call this show image. That's a good name for this action right here. And I'm going to have UI button be the sender because I'm going to know which one to show because I'm going to look at the sender. Okay, so I got show image right here. So let's go ahead and put the code in here. So show image is a lot like, looks a lot like prepare for segue. Um, we can only do this if we're in a split view, right? We can only do the show image thing here, this trick, if we are in a split view. Sorry, let me, just so we can see what's going on here. All right, okay, we can only do a split view, so I'm gonna first check to see that. I'm gonna say, if I can let the image view controller equal my split view controllers, if I have one, view controller, controller, sub one, we know that's the detail, right? And actually, I don't wanna use sub one because if for some reason my split view controller doesn't have a detail, then view controllers only have one thing, so I'm actually gonna use view controllers dot last, Okay, because last returns nil if there's no such thing. Okay, uh, and then I'm gonna grab the content view controller as always, and I'm gonna check to see if that's an image view controller. So in other words, if I can get my detail as an image view controller, then I'm basically gonna do this right here, in here, but here I don't have to say sender as UI button because the sender is a UI button, so I can just say sender, and it's never gonna be nil there. Okay, and do that. So see, see what's going on here? So no segueing. I'm not doing any segueing. So when I go over here, okay, and I pick something like Cassini or Earth, okay, let's say, it loads it up. Actually, we've got to do one other thing, sorry. Back here in our storyboard, let's wire up all these buttons to do that, okay? We only wired up Earth to do this uh, show image. So let's do that. Let's go to automatic. All right, so let's control let's do this one here, and let's wire up this one here. Okay, so now all three buttons are sending that same show image. So now we can actually demonstrate this. So let's do Cassini. Here it is showing this. And once this appears, or even before it appeared, I can hit Earth, and it's just reusing this. No segues, so there's no way I'm creating a new MVC here. It's just reloading it, okay, just by setting the image URL on the image there. Got it? Okay, now, what about back on iPhone, though? Let's go back to iPhone. Is this going to work over here? No, it's not, because it only does that thing if it's in a split view. Remember, I said if split view controller. So if I hit Earth, it's not working at all now, because it's not segueing here. Okay? So really what I need to do back here in Cassini is I need to say, <clears throat> if I'm in a split view controller, then do this. Otherwise... I basically want to segue, okay? So now I'm gonna show you how to segue from code, okay? You've only learned how to segue 
from by dragging in Storyboard. Now I'm going to show you how to do it in code, which is you just say perform segue with identifier. And you give it the identifier. So we'll use the Storyboard show image segue. And the sender can be whatever you want. I'm going to have the sender be this sender button right here, this button that's asking us to show image. So it's going to be one of those earth things or whatever. Now, this perform segue with identifier requires that such a segue exist in the storyboard. Okay? And we got rid of all those segues. So that's not going to work. We need to have a storyboard with this identifier. And the way you do this is you actually segue from the view controller itself. Instead of segueing from one of the buttons, when you want to segue in code, you segue from the view controller itself, from this little uh, icon right here, down to wherever you want to segue to. So we want to segue to this right here, put these close to each other. Okay, so I'm just going to control drag from here to here. It's going to be, it can be show because we're never doing this in a split view controller. Split view controller, we're doing the other thing. So we do show. We've got this thing here now, this one segue. This segue hooks up the whole view controller to here. We still need to set its identifier to show image. Okay, and now back here in this code, when we do perform segue with identifier, it's going to do that segue. And we're segueing from the view controller to the other one, not from the buttons anymore, from the view controller. So let's see if that works now on iPhone. All right, Cassini, sure enough, it's working. Okay, so it's doing that segue. It's back to doing the segue. So this is a new MVC. You go back, this is a new MVC. But it's only doing it on iPhone because if you look at our code over here in the show image, if it's in a split view controller, it just reuses the image view controller that's already in the, split, in the detail. Okay, you got all that? All right, I think I have time to do the last bit of slides here, whoops, which is on text field. Go through it pretty quickly.